Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Time for me to, oh gosh, I got another battery there. Time for me to get through these batteries, see what batteries needs to be disposed of, what batteries are still good. I got a one-year-old Volvo battery there, this door last here, that battery there, this battery here. So I've had this on the tether for a few hours, so I'm going to test it, see where its health is, whether I'm going to keep it or dispose of it and go through these batteries today while I do a couple other things. I have an initial state of 12.9 on this battery which is common for a post charge battery. You shouldn't have 14 volts on the battery. It's going to be under 13. Let's run it through the test and see where it stands health and charge. Health is 66% charge is 100% so this is a good battery but it's getting aged. It's dying. The health is 66%. You want that 90 or over for a newish battery so let's test one of these next batteries and put them on the chargers see where they are six hours from now here's my next battery this is a 4775 centennial 75 month battery let's see where it is on its health uh cold cranking amps is a lot less on this one the last one was 650 this one is 490 which is kind of a minimum battery for these Volvo 850s and whatnot. It's stating that the health is 41%, the charge is 100%. That's 314 cold cranking amps. So I'm going to put this on the tether, let it sit six hours, and then retest it to see if this thing can be fixed or if I need to discard it because you can get stuck somewhere with a battery like this. Got it on my Nico Genius 5 charging system. We got it set to 12 volts. We're going to see how this thing deals with this for six hours. Here it is, folks, the best of the 90s. You got Panther. You got a 740 wagon there. Then you got a 960 sedan, my all-time favorite. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to scan this car, see what's going on with the transmission system. So this is the code from the VST. I'm going to post that on Volvo Speed just to see if anybody has any recommendations. Because he has replaced the PMP switch on this thing. It's got a bad signal. It's like it's maybe the plug could be damaged or bad or dirty or something. Yeah. Off the tinker day at storage. Man, there's a lot of money sitting in this storage. And I found my 32 millimeter socket. I don't know how that got in storage. This place has changed names three times in one year. It's ridiculous. But I got to put this hood in storage. And I got to put this transmission for lemonade in storage. And my hip and back is hurting. So trying not to hurt myself. Maybe I could find somebody to help me lift this hood off so I don't break my windshield. About to hit Byron's V70R with a compression test. Had to buy a gauge. I got one in Vegas, I think. But I tried to borrow one two different places. Neither one of them had a loaner tool. So I bought it, warming the engine up a little bit. About to uh, pull the plugs, disconnect the fuel and spark from this car by pulling that fuse out of there and do this compression test so let me get this cover off and get ready to do this thing i'm gonna pull the fuse shut off ignition and fuel now i'm gonna pull the covers and the coils and do this compression test i did not remember this being a 99 and a half 99 and a half has the accesses to adjust the valves or the lifters whatever you want to call them to check them that means this thing has six millimeter valves and solid lifters 
the head that I have in my storage has seven millimeter valves and hydraulic lifters. So I don't think it matters which way you go with this, but that's probably what I'm going to go back on with if I replace this head, not this one with the six millimeter valves. Let me get these spark plugs out. Got a mess up here, oil down in the cylinders, all kind of stuff. Man, I really don't know what's going on around here tool-wise. I do not see my spark plug socket. So I got to go find one of those to finish this. Let me check the back of the car. There must be some tools in this car somewhere that I got misplaced. Sitting here, chasing my tail. Well, by the looks of these plugs... I'm going to assume this vehicle needs an engine. You got a plug missing the tip there. Don't know how that could happen. And all this sludge on top of it. You got this plug here that's bent down. Only thing I would think happened there is it threw a rod. And the rod smashed that plug. That plug right there looks horrible. And this plug right here has been smashed down to nothing and all of the ceramic down in there is busted on that one too ceramics busted on that one too let me put some light on this the center tips missing out of that one can't believe it <laughs> that cylinder five with the best looking spark plug in the car let's go to cylinder four well this is shocking cylinder number four has good compression let's keep rolling man let's keep rolling see what's going on and that side of the cylinder that's missing the electrode and every gas tank thing compression in number three i'm shocked because spark plug is destroyed on this cylinder it is wet had oil fall down in there looks like the piston came up and closed the spark plug i don't even know how that's possible to happen it makes no sense to me. How'd that happen? Something went in there and jammed the spark plug closed. Another miracle. I thought surely one of these rods were thrown. And this would be a zero compression situation. But we got 190. Wet compression. Let me check that last one. If the last one checks out good, I'm throwing some spark plugs in this thing, man. That last cylinder is low, but... It ain't low enough to throw the engine in the trash. That could be just a wet, fueled, saturated one. I'm going to throw some plugs in here. I got some plugs in my toolbox. Use plugs, fire this thing up, see how it runs. Man, this thing with these spark plugs could only been running on one or two cylinders. They don't even make no sense. Now, I don't know when the last time these things were replaced, but... I never seen nothing like this. I hadn't put these Bosch plugs in here, so they've been in there at least two years. I had some Volvo double platinum plugs here. One of them is damaged. I had it in my toolbox. The ceramic is busted on it. So I checked a couple cylinder heads in there, and I had a double platinum Bosch plug in there. So I put the plugs in, torqued them down, threw the coil packs on. Let's start this thing and see if it runs right. Man, that was incredible. Here we go, folks. Let me latch this door latch. Fire this thing up, see if it runs. Prime the fuel. Well, got a little smoke up here from somewhere. Need some gas in this car. Seems like it's running. A lot of lights, but it's running. I'm going to do the ETM next day or two. I'm going to tell them it's fixed. Let them drive around for a few days. Actually, let me take it for a test drive. See how it runs around the block. And go from there. So here's these plugs with some light on it. That was in number five. This was in number four. I have no idea where all the stuff is that goes in that plug. This plug was in number three. Smashed down 
Uh, How does that happen? This plug was in number two. Looks almost normal. And this plug was number one. I mean, soaking wet, smashed down to the tip. I don't, I don't know how this car was running like this. I, I was able to start it and let it idle. I'm going to end the day checking this Volvo battery. Now, this thing's been on the charger for about 24 hours. It started out with a red light. It was, I wasn't even registering on the battery tester. It's got 25%. 50%, 75%. It's at close to 100% charge. While that is still flashing, this thing is still charging. When it's done charging, all these other lights go out and the green light stays lit. So I'm going to take it off the charger, just run the test on it, and then hook it back up on the charger. Hopefully it'll be done doing its thing in the next day. And I'm going to call it a day, man. It's, it's pain. It's sucks and it's getting ready to get dark outside it's cold i've done enough for today 13 volts let's do it cold cranking amp 600 hopefully we get a state of health at least 75 percent dang batteries jacked up 14% health. This thing is a year old. I'm going to try to see if Volvo has some kind of warranty on this thing. I was trying to get this repair light to light up, but I guess it'll try to repair on its own. When I change the mode, it never goes to repair. So anyway, I'm going to leave it on there another day, see what happens, but it's probably bad. From sitting in the car that drained it, year and a half old. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.